What's up everybody? So, um, I'm sorry this video has come out a bit late, um, but I've been very busy today. Uh, I've been to the gym, uh, second day, it's really nice. Uh, I enjoy going out and do some running, some spinning and a little bit of weight training. Uh, I'm not doing anything very, very hard yet. I'm just trying to get used to it, but it's so nice. Um, as you guys know, this today, this vlog is going to be a little bit about fingerboarding as well. Um, my mum and dad came around today and my mum said, oh, I bought you a little pre-Christmas present. And I was like, that's a bit too early. But she said she had to give it to me now because she knew I'd need it. So I wonder, what the hell is that? Um, strange. Okay. So um, they got up here, had a big box. And uh, as you guys know, the fingerboard are all handmade. I cut them up with a, a standing knife. That's why the shapes it takes me a long time because I need to cut them out and it's not very easy. Um, so my mum thought, hmm, I got a perfect idea for it. So she went in and got me one of these guys. This is amazing. It's like, wow, thank you, mum. It's so cool. So I got one of these. Uh, I can't remember the English name of it. They just call it Dicopurso. Um And what they do is it's like this little thing in there. Jumps up and down like that. And this is a, a little saw blade. So I can now cut my fingerboards on that. It'll be so much easier and it take... Uh, so much less time, it will be so much quicker. So now I can um, really get started on um, working on my fingerboard so that it's... Oh, I can put the lights on now. See, it really is, it really is good. And uh, yeah, so pleased, happy with that. So thank you, Mum. That is cool. Uh, oh, I got the lights on now. As uh, I don't know if you guys, I got my cover today. Uh, you probably see it. No, you don't. If I do like that, uh, yeah, there's that clear thing that's like a cover to protect my phone. So yeah, and it's very good. Uh, so right now, I've just been out skating. I mean, I went straight to the gym, and my cousin Matthias, which I would never expect him to go to the gym, but he actually joined, signed up as a member as well, so we can work out together. So um, yeah, we've been to the gym. Um, I can't imagine. We've been to the gym, and then I went straight to skating after. So. I need a shower, I'm a bit tired and uh, worn out, but that's fine. Um, I'm almost completely recovered from my cold, which is nice. I feel a lot more normal now. Normal. Uh, better. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will be uh, making the video of my 200th giveaway. And um, I'm very excited to see who of you guys out there is going to win it. Uh, it will be very interesting to see which one of you. Uh, so yeah. Uh, plans? Yeah, well, I got plans for tomorrow. I'm actually going. Uh, does it look very bright? Yeah, it does look very bright. Can I switch it off? Will that be too bad? A bit hard to stand here. I can't see anything. Click there. And there. No? Where is it? There. I think it's there. I can't hear it. <laughs> it's not very easy. Gotta turn around. Oh, yeah, I look very scruffy. I'm thinking about trimming my beard. What do you guys think? It's quite big. So yeah. Um, so that's it. Tomorrow I'm going to Copenhagen with a couple of friends for the skate park and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, unfortunately that skate park only allowed rollerbladers and BMX on Wednesdays and every other day like the like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday it's just skateboarders. I think that's really really crap. It's really bad. Um, I understand BMX because they are a lot larger and they have a lot more speed plus the weight of the actual bike so I can understand why they decided not to oh, hold on a second I gotta switch this light off it's quite bright there we go so I understand why they um, say that we don't want BMX in there but to take rollerbladers and just uh, completely discriminate against them say oh you can only join on Wednesday and believe it or not on the Wednesday where they allow BMXers at the same time as rollerbladers, they still allow skateboarders. So the crowd is going to be there normally, will also be there while we're there, and I expect that will be a lot more people in there uh, from rollerbladers and BMXs because that's the only day they got a chance to do it. I think it's a pathetic rule. It really is bad. It is discrimination uh, against different sports, uh, something like that. It, I, not discrimination, but it's not just, it's not fair. I mean, you should allow everyone to drive every day, or you should just like leave the day where make a day for BMXs and make a day for uh, rollerbladers, or two days a week for each, something like that. Yeah, 
So that's all I want to say. I'll make my giveaway video tomorrow, maybe, depending if I've got time before I go to Copenhagen. I don't know that yet. Uh, I have been thinking about doing some recording. I wanted to do it today, but then my mom and dad came up and gave me that the the sore thing. So I didn't have much chance to do it today because it's day for coffee and everything. So that that was a bit out of the plans. But I will tomorrow. Woo! Uh, I will uh, probably put up the video a bit earlier. I might put more than one video up. Uh, I'll be recording while we go away for the skate park. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys will have a chance to see me on Rollerblade. Um, yeah. So I will now just have a shower. And I'll probably um, just uh, put the new saw down in the basement. In the room where I used to work with it. And that's it. Just relax for the rest and uh, watch my favorite YouTube videos from my favorite YouTubers. And that's it. I can't fin find out more to say to you guys. Because a lot of things have been happening today. Oh, another thing about the gym. Uh, I started gym yesterday. This is my second day today and I'm going tomorrow before we go skating because I really enjoy it. I feel a whole different energy boost already. Uh, of course I can't see if a lot, I haven't lost any weight yet, I, at least I don't think I have, and I haven't gained any muscle really, uh, because only two days, I mean, it's going to be a lot of work before anything can be seen, uh, noticed, but already now, one thing I have noticed is my energy level is completely boosted compared to what it was before I started, uh, I feel a lot more happy, I got, uh, a lot more energy and a lot more stuff. Um, I feel up to doing things, which I didn't before. I feel that the gym has kind of saved me from my winter depression. Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> but so far it has. It really is great. Um, yeah. So, um, if you guys out there, like me, don't like the cold winters, uh, well, depending where you are, because where I am, Denmark, we got cold winter starting now. Uh, it's rainy, it's windy, it's cold, and it's very dark. It gets dark about 4 in the afternoon already and not light till about seven so it's not many hours of sun we have the rest is just dark and it'll get worse as we progress into the winter so if you uh, feel down and depressed and you need some more energy go to the gym because uh, that will probably um, make you feel better it did with me at least <laughs> so yeah you guys take care and uh, speak to you tomorrow bye